Hey guys, it is Saturday morning in Spain Hatchy and we are all loaded up on the boats and getting ready to hit the water for a day of scalloping and family fun. Friday evening to a little after seven. Um, we are in Steam Hatchy and I am making dinner and I'm also prepping breakfast for tomorrow. Uh, right now I'm browning up sausage. I'm gonna make some sausage gravy. I already have biscuits done. And that way people can just warm that up in the morning or if they want cereal or pop tarts, they can. Um, I already have coffee maker set and ready to go. Have mac and cheese made here. I'm working on my baked beans here. Watergate is in the refrigerator and I've cut up a giant thing of watermelon. Um, and as soon as I get this finished browning and the gravy pretty much made, I'm gonna run down and put the hot dogs and sausages on the grill. So it is Saturday night and we are just now finishing up the dinner preparations. We're doing hamburgers and hot dogs tonight and I have a bunch of veggies and stuff laid out. I have a big pile of fries made. I have mac and cheese. Um, baked beans are warming back up with potato salad, watermelon, Watergate. And the boys should be up with the burgers. Sunday evening and it's about a quarter till eight and I am working on dinner for the family. Uh, I have garlic bread here. I'm going to pop in the oven in just a few minutes and I have some garlic and butter and salt. The scallops are still in the fridge. We're going to saute up some scallops as an appetizer. Uh, in the oven I have two pans of lasagna and some buttered mushroom caps. I still have cobbler left over from last night for dessert. And then I have a big Caesar salad in the refrigerator. So that is what we'll be doing for dinner. Um, the rest of the crew is all downstairs either playing pool or um, one of the games down in the game room. And some of the guys are across the street uh, finishing getting all the gear cleaned up and packed away. So we're going to have dinner and just relax and enjoy the evening. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Take you out and look around. Um, the weather has been beyond beautiful and unfortunately the scallops were not very plentiful but there has been rain here uh, nearly every day and it's just not the best conditions for scalloping but the weather is gorgeous 
and the water was great. Um, absolutely perfect. So we love coming here even when we don't uh, end up with a whole bunch of scallops. So I'm going to run down and see how the guys are all doing downstairs and then we'll be ready to eat soon. vacation is coming to an end. It is time for cleanup. I am emptying cabinets and packing. The guys went down to go um, load the boats onto the trailers and get them out of the water and I'm emptying fridges and just repacking everything. Um, when the boys get up and come over then I will get them to carry boxes downstairs and put them in the truck but I'm just going to go ahead and get through and get everything packed and cleaned up. Hey guys, just a quick packing tip. Um, I do this, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I always try and keep one bin or bag relatively empty and saved out to the last. I keep one bag for trash, just like a little grocery store bag, and then I have a bin or some sort of a bag like this um, laid out for last minutes. And as I walk around um, the house or the hotel or wherever it is we're staying camp, um, all of the extras that the kids or whoever leave behind, I toss into that one empty bin. It's just my last minute bin. Whenever I'm packing to leave on a trip, I do the same thing. I keep one bag or bin laid out. And as I remember last minute things like charging cords or sunglasses, a book, whatever, I throw it into that bag. So um, we have it with us and I'm not trying to go and put stuff back into luggage so this is my last minute bin. I'm walking the house right now looking for things. I already found um, sunscreen and face wipes. Those are gonna go in here um, along with our last minute toiletries and things like that left in the bathroom so that I can leave the house just like we found it. Okay, we are at the end of our trip and this is the part that I always stress about the most which is backing the boat trailer down for Chris to load it up. I just am not that great at it. I'm much better with a tractor. If I have a tractor, I can move stuff anywhere, but with the great big F-250, not so much. So we'll see uh, how easily I get this thing turned around and back down the ramp. And we're loaded. Well, no trip is complete without a little bit of adventure, tire blue on the drive home so thankfully we have everything we need to quickly get it taken care of.